Many superficial veins from the forearm converge just below the elbow to form two large veins, the basilic and the cephalic. The cephalic vein stays at a superficial level as it runs up the arm over the biceps. At the top of the arm, it lies between the deltoid and pectoralis major. The large vein crossing the front of the elbow is the antecubital vein. It crosses from the cephalic to the basilic vein. The basilic vein then runs up the medial aspect of the arm to join this brachial vein, which is one of a pair. The two brachial veins join together as they pass up the arm. Here they are joining to become one brachial vein. The name of this vein then changes. Up here, it becomes the axillary vein. To get a good look at it proximally, we'll remove pectoralis major. Here's the axillary vein running alongside the median nerve and the axillary artery and disappearing with them behind pectoralis the picture. Here's the main artery, the axillary artery. It emerges from beneath pectoralis minor, surrounded by major nerves. As it passes into the arm, its name changes. From here on down, it's the brachial artery. Here, right next to the latissimus tendon, it gives off a large branch, the deep brachial or profunda brachii, which passes backward deep to the triceps. Along with it goes the radial nerve, which we'll see in a minute. The brachial artery runs down the medial side of the arm alongside the brachialis muscle. The median nerve crosses over the artery. The brachial artery passes beneath the bicipital aponeurosis, which we'll remove. Alongside the biceps tendon, the brachial artery divides into the two major arteries of the forearm, the radial and the ulnar. The radial artery stays quite superficial. It runs down the forearm between pronator teres and brachioradialis. The ulnar artery has a much deeper course. It dives down alongside the brachialis tendon. Between pectoralis major and deltoid is the cephalic vein coming up from the arm. It's a vein that doesn't have an accompanying artery. To see where it's going, we'll remove pectoralis major. Here's the cephalic vein. Together with other veins from the shoulder region, it joins the main vein of the upper extremity, the subclavian vein. We'll focus our attention on this important vein. The subclavian vein comes up from the arm and passes beneath pectoralis minor. Emerging from beneath pectoralis minor, it passes over the outer surface of the first rib. Here's the first rib. And under the subclavius muscle and the clavicle. To follow the subclavian vein further, we'll remove the clavicle, the subclavius muscle, and this muscle, the sternocleidomastoid. Here we are behind the medial end of the clavicle, which went from here, this is the cut end of the clavicle, to here, this was the sternoclavicular joint. Here's pectoralis minor. Here's the curve.